And plus you're trying to work on your fighter if he has any cuts or abrasions. There, a big moment for one. Well, that was a, a strange moment where they clashed heads. But before that, Valenzuela, for the first time in this bout, threw a double left hook. The left to the body got there, but then the left to the head also got there. And, and that's what you need to do against the left. You cannot throw one hook at a time. you got to throw to the body and the head. See, he threw that one to the head, Valenzuela, and it missed. And this guy even makes it more difficult. Quinones, because again of that, uh, that effective movement, he's not in one place that long. He throws punches and then he's out of there. I almost believe at this juncture in life that unless you get lucky with the right hand, if you don't throw double left hooks against the lefty, you almost can't win. Because you need that weapon to keep them where they're supposed to be. He has uh, fought, uh, Valen Willis said in his last fight, which was a uh, victory, was against the South Paul. Good left hook gets in by Valenzuela, so things are starting to heat up a little bit. We'll see what happens in the next round. So a little better round for Valenzuela in the last round. Uh, he's starting to get a little more range in his punches. And yes, we are headed for round three. Much better round for Valenzuela. One of the items that took place, the heads came together in round two. And there it is. Ouch. And uh, an accidental clash of heads, though, initiated probably more by Quinones, who was coming up with his head. And he has a lot, he does a lot of head movements, he faints a lot. We are back. It is, uh, we're headed into the third round of this 12-round Fecker Box championship match. The determination in the face of Valenzuela, a much better second round for him. You can make a case that he won that second round. Certainly, Quinones, I gave him round one. Good straight left hand by Quinones. And here comes Valenzuela. Quinones with the straight left. Now Valenzuela ripping those left hands to the body and the head. Quinones goes down, but and will they call it a knockdown? Yes. Quinones sent down, and uh, I couldn't tell the exact punch, but he didn't complain about it, so it may have been a knockdown. Maybe a little bit of a balanced shot, but certainly there was a Ooh, punch. Nice there's right hand by Valenzuela. He maybe Quinones was rocked to somewhere in that whole melee of punches. A hook gets there by Valenzuela. He's starting to get that punch. See, look, he's doubling to the body and the head. If he does that, he'll get somewhere. And that is that Kulia Khan left hook to the body and then up to the head. Right hook by Quinones, so now it's a war, folks. It was a boxing match for a round or two like Quinones wanted, now it's a war. And he's coming forward trying to rip Valenzuela. You know, he, he just, that's what he does. I mean, that's his pattern. He'll get in fights and outbox his opponents, but once he gets hit or yep. find out that he can hurt the guy, it, it turns into a major slugfest and, like this. And, that, and then you give up the fact that you're a lefty. Now you're just like a regular guy fighting him. Good hooks by Valenzuela, and here comes Quinones. Both men standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Good defensive work by Valenzuela, though, avoiding some of those straight lefts and rights and hooks. Under a minute left to go here in round three. And now Quinones standing right in front of Valenzuela and giving away his left-handed advantage a little bit. Double left hook again by Valenzuela. The second one got there. Now he's ripping those shots the right way. So it's been a very entertaining round. Both men have done some damage. And those left hooks will pay dividends later on if this fight gets it. Remember, this is 12 rounds where Valenzuela's never been, but those left hooks will really help him in the latter rounds. 
saw a very entertaining third round in which uh, Valenzuela got more done than he had in the previous two. Starting to get exciting. the action in round three. Nice straight left hand by Quinones of South Paul. And there's the knockdown. Quinones coming back and fighting back. Lands a nice right hook. Comes back with a little uppercut, left uppercut. Good action in that last round. We are back for round four here at the Spa Resort and Casino in Palm Springs, California. In the white trunks with Stevie Quinones, the 30-year-old veteran who went down in the last round at the hands of Juan Valenzuela. But it was a very, very spirited round the rest of the way. And Quinones, who boxed effectively for the first two rounds, is now slugging it out with Valenzuela and may have hurt him. Valenzuela now ripping those shots. A good left hook by Valenzuela. Gets into the head and a right hand to Quinones. Valenzuela fighting like an angry young man, isn't he? He must have heard those sound bites. I think these two don't like each other. They, they, they did train. And Quinones made some disparaging remarks. And, and Valenzuela's trying to make him pay. Good right hand by Valenzuela. And now Valenzuela fighting a more intelligent fight by going to that body first with the hook. Quinones landing his share, that's for sure, but not fighting the right fight right now for him. It's the right fight for the fans, though, because it's making it very interesting. All of his fights are action-packed, and there's what he needs to be doing, utilizing the ring, utilizing the southpaw, the speed, southpaw style, but ultimately it ends up, they're in a phone booth. Like this. They're both ripping shots on the inside. I have Allen's well ahead by a couple of points because of the knockdown, and I gave him round two. But it's very close. But the knockdown might side it a little bit towards Valenzuela. A little blood from the nose of uh, Steve Quinones. Valenzuela ripped throwing that hook, bouncing it off the shoulder of Pignone. Valenzuela <laughs> shaking his head after Pignone has landed something, saying, uh-uh, you didn't hurt me. Under a minute left to go here in round four. And what has turned into a very entertaining matchup between these two. Left hook pushes Pignone's away, but He's, it's not a knockdown. I think Quinones has a healthy respect for the power of Valenzuela now, though. Yeah, he found out this young man can punch a bit. Good right hand by Valenzuela. Now he's mixing that punch into the, uh, into the attack. Seconds remaining here in round four. And... This has become quite an interesting matchup, and there is more still to come in this Becker Box title match. Very difficult round to score inside the corner. We're here with Suarez as the state of his fighter. A lot of it in that last round. Both fighters had their moments. <laughs> Tell the crowd's enjoying it. So yeah, and a lot of uh, a lot of activity there by Valenzuela. It was very aggressive. Okay. And 
You know what? I'll tell you what. Keep your distance now. Let's change the rhythm now. Keep your distance a little bit and let's do a little bit more slipping. Okay? We head into the fifth round of this 12 round matchup. It has been two different fights in rounds one and two. Steve Quinones boxed effectively against uh, Juan Valenzuela, made it a chess match. Then in round three, Quinones went down. It changed the entire face of this fight. And for two rounds since then, it has been a brawl. And, and Quinones came in here with his confidence a little shook from that knockout to Mickey Ward. He said that it's a whole new beginning, but he's coming off that. And I think that Valenzuela has, uh, again, made him uh, have some doubts in there. What he needs to do is just go back to that boxing South Paul style that uh, made him so effective during his career. Steve Quinones, you mentioned he's a 30-year-old uh, veteran who has performed very well, really with the exception of when he steps up in class, as in the case of when he fought Mickey Ward, who he lost, Diego Corrales, also lost to Hector Arroyo. So the big na bigger name fighters are giving him problems, but most everybody else he's beaten. And mainly beaten them with boxing skills like he did in, in that, those first two rounds, and he's doing somewhat here in this round. Only nine KOs for Quinones. Valenzuela only has three KOs, but he looks to be a very powerful young man. if he carries that power into the later rounds. Again, I mentioned Valenzuela has never been past the eighth round. Quinones has been 12 rounds five times. Past the halfway point here in round five as we're approaching the halfway point in this fight. It's our main event of the evening. And it's turned into an entertaining one. And uh, they need to tie the shoelace of Juan Valenzuela. And you see them doing that repair right there. And, Great uh, job of that, too. Tying that pretty shoelace. quick, I'll tell you what. That guy must be an old bulldogger, you know? Tying up those cows in a couple of seconds. Under a minute left to go here in round five. Al Bernstein, James Smith, glad that you joined us uh, for our CSI boxing this evening. Can I point out why the shoelace might have come undone? Because when you're Please. fighting a southpaw, you yeah. know how you step on the feet all the yeah. time, the feet came together. That, that may be why that happened. Probably was. Quinones with the jab. Right hand gets in, and Valenzuela knocked off balance. It's been a pretty good round for Steve Quinones. And he has been uh, a little bit more of a boxer in this round. And I think that's what he needs to, to keep this type of a rhythm going against Valenzuela. Quinone is getting the left hand and also as we wind down the final moments here of round five. And so, we're close to the halfway point in this match. Cameraman are having fun tonight in Palm uh, Springs. Apparently. <laughs> we head into the sixth round in this 12 round battle, our main event. Juan Valenzuela and Steve Quinones. And this is the point of the fight where I really think it's going to get very interesting for. Valenzuela because we know what Quinones can do at this distance. He's been there and done that. But we'll see after it gets right after from this point on for Valenzuela. Who right now I have ahead by one point, but it's really like a dead even fight. 
There was a knockdown in round three in which uh, Quinones in the white trunks went down. It's the only knockdown of the fight. That's the only a, a little advantage that I, why I have it separated. 